To win huge amounts of money in the lottery, you have to be lucky. To keep your life in order after winning that money, you have to be skillful. This is David Lee Edwards. I never have to worry about a hotel room again. Well, I have to pay for it. I never have to worry about a menu. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Edwards and his then soon-to-be wife Shauna won one quarter of a Powerball jackpot. They were presented with a $41 million check at the ceremony in Louisville, Kentucky in 2001 and received $27 million after taxes. Edwards had served time in prison and was unemployed. I interviewed them in their luxury hotel suite after they got the check. When I went up there and played that lottery, I was sincere when I asked God to help me because I was desperate. I felt just desperate in my soul, just desperation. They had become very rich very fast. And Edwards told me he would turn his life around, give money to charity, his children, and already had a plan in mind for themselves. It's an R-Series Bentley Rolls Royce convertible. And Shauna, you told me you were going to get a car too. Tell me about that. Well, it's between three, actually. Okay. Dodge Viper, a Lamborghini, or a Ferrari. I really haven't decided which one yet. They got the Ferrari and many more cars and a Learjet and mansions. In one year, Edward said he spent $12 million. He ultimately lost all his money, filed for divorce from Shauna, and died in hospice care two years ago. His story is not unique. Was this bad judgment, or what would you like to say? It to was everybody? bad judgment, bad choice. Do you want to say a few words, Amanda? The woman not commenting was Amanda Clayton, who won $1 million in the Michigan State Lottery. She got into legal trouble after continuing to collect welfare benefits. She had said she was entitled to welfare because she still needed help. One year after she won the lottery, Amanda Clayton was found dead in her home from a suspected drug overdose. I just want to thank God for letting me pick the right numbers. Jack Whitaker of West Virginia won nearly $315 million in the Powerball in 2002 what was then the largest jackpot ever won by one person in U.S. history. Like so many big winners, he couldn't believe his good luck. Let me see that ticket. And I looked at that ticket, and sure enough, uh, we had the winner, and uh, we were very excited. Less than a year later, he had over half a million dollars in cash stolen from his car. Later, his granddaughter and daughter died in timely deaths. In a few years back, more of his money was stolen from various branches of the bank where he kept his accounts according to legal complaints against him at the time. When I met David Lee Edwards, he and his fiance were ready to start a magnificent life. I'm gonna buy Shauna a very nice engagement ring, which I really couldn't afford before. And um, Do you have a ring right now? I have no jewelry. No jewelry. <laughs> she got her ring, but both received a lot of despair to go along with it.